Autumn is one of the most beautiful times of the year to be a photographer. And the reason for this is because the landscape around us transforms itself. You start getting beautiful, vibrant colors displaying in the trees, reds, ambers, and yellows. And you also get beautiful mists which float across the landscape, creating this ethereal, mysterious beauty. I know for myself, this is definitely one of my favorite times to be a landscape photographer. In particular, there are three scenes which you can really excel from taking photos in autumn. They are woodlands, intimate scenes, and finally, waterfalls. Now, two weeks ago, I had the privilege of visiting one of the highest waterfalls in the UK. And autumn was full in bloom at the time, so I got some terrific photos that I was really happy with. Now, if you'd like to check out my adventure there, you can just click the link which appears above my head right now. With the autumn waterfall ticked off my list, I was really excited about the prospect of getting out and shooting a beautiful woodland. For me, this is one of the most gorgeous scenes that you can capture in autumn because of the beautiful, vibrant colors which you experience. Now, the woodland I've decided to visit today actually holds a lot of pleasant memories for me. In fact, when I was a young child, I used to come up here and lose myself in my imagination with my friends. We'd come on bike rides, we'd build dens, and we'd just enjoy the outdoors. Now, this woodland is also steeped in some very sinister history. In fact, witchcraft has been performed in these very woods. But luckily, I've heard recently that there's been no sightings, which as you can imagine, I'm very happy about. So, I have spotted an absolutely wonderful composition right over here. This tree has some beautiful vibrant leaves. You can see the yellow and the orange and the ambers coming through. It also has quite a wide separation here between the branches, which gives it that extra contrast. To add to all this appeal, there is also something else. You've got the beautiful sunlight, which is lighting this up right now. I should take a photo very quickly before I lose this, actually. And also, there's a tree stump just over here, which creates a lovely, attractive foreground in the image. Now, this may not look much from this angle, but this here is providing a really attractive foreground. And the reason being, you can see this lovely lichen or moss here, which is just growing on top of what seems to be a tree stump. And this is really gonna pop out of the image, this nice green here. It's also got a few leaves on it. I might add a few more leaves just for artistic value, we'll see. Um, but yeah, this is gonna be my foreground, and then the tree over there is gonna be my background. Let's take the photo and see how this pans out. It's really incredibly difficult to set up the video camera showing you the composition here, but I think I've managed to do it. So as you can see, I've got my camera set up upside down and I need that so that I can get the stump here in the foreground in focus while getting the tree in focus as well. So if I just stick on my camera, you're not gonna be able to see this from here, but the composition is vertical, obviously, and what I'm doing is I'm shooting this at F8. So I'm just gonna go ahead now and take the photo. Nobody is losing Face 
So you should be seeing a lovely silhouetted version of me right now, uh, where I'm nice and dark in the foreground against the beautiful clouds in the background. Now I feel like I'm slightly cheating for this shot because I'm in the woodland and I've come to get some beautiful autumnal colours, but I'm actually shooting out the woodland to some far away trees. And that's because at the moment, the sky is just delicious. So I thought I'd have to capture this shot while I have the chance. Now it's really difficult to expose for this. I mentioned that I have less gear with me and I didn't bring any filters. So what I'm gonna to have to do is I'm gonna to have to take three different exposures. The one's gonna expose for the trees and the other one's gonna expose for the sky. And I'm probably gonna to have to expose as well for the foreground. And then what I'll do is I'll blend these three shots together in Photoshop. So I'm gonna go ahead now, capture this, and then you can see how it turns out in a minute. So, the light is starting to fade, unfortunately. I would have liked to have spent a little bit more time in the woods, just looking for different compositions. But unfortunately, we have run out of time. So, this is where I say, guys, thank you for watching this video. Um, I really appreciate you supporting me on my channel on YouTube. Uh, I always appreciate you watching. And if you like the video, I'd really appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up and just let me know that I've done a good job. Now, if you want to check out any of the other videos, I'll put them over here somewhere and you can check them out as well. Whatever you do today, for the rest of today, have a great day and I'll see you all next week.